What's up you guys? Thanks for tuning into this video. This is your favorite girl, Amani Jelena, and I'm here with another video for you guys. So this is just a super quick video, and as you can see from the title, this is basically me explaining to you guys that you do not need an LLC when you originally start your hair company, okay? So if you are interested in hearing what my opinion is about this particular topic, definitely make sure you stay for the rest of this video. Otherwise, if you guys do not know who I am, my name is Amani Jelena, the owner of Allure 96 Hair and Lash, and also the brand owner of AmaniJelena.co. Make sure you guys check the description box. I have tons of goodies down there, and make sure you guys follow me on my different social media sites to keep up with all my craziness. But my biggest recommendation for those of you who are in the process of starting your very first company is number one, starting with a sole proprietorship. Now the reason I would recommend that initially is for one, you just wanna kinda of like get your feet wet with, wet with everything to see if you even like the industry that you're going into. And that of course being the hair industry, see if you actually like it, get a feel for it before you actually invest tons of money into, into the actual company. So I would definitely say so start with the sole proprietorship and then from there, so let's say you do know, hey, this is something that I genuinely do wanna do, then start with a DBA. A DBA is not typically as expensive as, as an LLC, just due to obvious, obvious reasons. If you guys have no idea what legal protection is, I'm gonna uh, leave some some stuff on the screen and also refer you guys to a few of my other videos so pay attention to the screen uh, in case you guys do need want a better judgment or better understanding of the different legal protections regarding DBAs and LLCs I do have a video geared towards those specifically that I will leave leave pinned on the screen for you but if you do know this is something that you genuinely do want to do I would then say go ahead and move forward with the DBA now what I will say is once you do decide to go ahead and get a DBA, that's when I would suggest if you do move forward with the DBA and you say like, you know what, I'm just going to get a DBA. I don't really care for an LLC. I don't need an LLC. That is always an option. And from there, you can just get business insurance and that business insurance will cover certain business business protection regarding if anyone was to sue you, uh, it'll, it'll cover like uh, lawyers and um, property damage and things like that assets and things of such of course it's a monthly fee and it's typically not much it's it's very similar to like renters insurance um, definitely not as expensive as like car insurance or anything like that uh, some of the different business insurance business insurance options that I've been looking over because this is something that I'm definitely interested in uh, and, and have been doing my own research on um, typically ranges from like 10 bucks a month $25 a month and it's just an extra form of protection that you can bring to your business so that's something that I do want you guys to just 100% remember just because you see all these people enforcing LLCs and get an LLC and do this with an LLC and do this with and and make sure you get this LLC you don't 100% need an LLC in the beginning of your business now if your business is booming and you are making a hundred thousand dollars a year or eighty thousand dollars a year and you have the extra coin to just get an LLC get one but if you are just now starting out and you are kind of scrummaging to kind of like meet ends meet as far as funding goes for your business I would definitely say start with a sole proprietorship then from there move to a DBA and then with the DBA go ahead and get your DBA and then just get business insurance just to cover any accidents or any um, mishaps that may happen during the process from your DBA to your LLC. So that's something that I do want you guys to consider uh, throughout your transitional process, I'm gonna call it, regarding your legal protection for your business. Now, if you guys do want a part two of this video where I go into depth regarding like business insurance and things like that, let me know and I'll of course make a video geared towards that and the different companies that I've been doing my fair share of research on because like I said, this is something that I'm considering for my business as well even though I do have an LLC, just for extra precautions and you know, just taking different measurements regarding protection uh, for my business and so forth. Um, so I do hope this video was beneficial to you guys. Let me know if this, if this video did help you. Leave a thumbs up if you did like this video and also leave me a comment below in case you do have any questions for me. I love you guys and I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah.